hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today uh, i'm going to discuss about one of the interesting uh, option that we can configure in office 365 uh, between two tenants if you can see i have uh, created a design of two tenant tenant one and tenant two right Generally, uh, how these tenants basically connect to each other or send email to each other. Uh, so the email will go from EOP, right, via the MX record to outside, and then it will come uh, with outside to the inside, right. So, but let's suppose this tenant one and tenant two is owned by the same company. So instead of going uh, via the MX record, what we want to achieve here, I want to create a connector between tenant one to tenant two. So the tenant one and tenant two can send the email right directly without using MX record or pointing to the external email. So we have three options available when we try to uh, configure this uh, tenant one to tenant two uh, send and receive connectors. Uh, let's go and explore them and see which one is more relevant to your organization. So this is uh, one of my tenant. So if you go to your Exchange Admin Center, right, under the Mail Flow, right, you'll see an option called Connector. Before I, I go to that part, I would like to show you what is the, the domain that I have right, in my environment. So this is my tenant one. And if you go to your domain, then you get to know about so if you can see that this is my tenant one right which is m365 x3135 right double six eight nine dot on microsoft.com right if i go to my second tenant which is here and let me open the admin center here. If you go to your domain, <coughs> so that is wwlx497386 dot on Microsoft dot com. So uh, let's suppose if I want to create a relationship between that tenant and this tenant. So let me go back to my first tenant where the domain is M365X. Go to your uh, Exchange Admin Center under the mail flow you'll be able to see an option called connectors if you go to the connectors there's an option called add connector so now in this particular connector we have three options first option if you want to connect create a connector from microsoft 365 to your on-prem exchange server that is the one option second options you have if you want to create a connector from office 365 to a partner organization right so what I want to do, I don't want, I don't have on-prem exchange. My both tenants are in Office 365. Now I want to create a partner connectivity. So you just need to choose this, right? And after that, you can just mention, right? You are creating from Office 365 to partner, right? So now Office 365 will use this connector to connect to the partner, right? So we call it a send connector. For this particular organization, we are creating a send connector from Office 365, and means from this tenant. 
send connector to domain next then it will ask you we have two options either you can set up a transport rule which can redirect the messages for that particular domain or you can add the domain there is a possibility your tenant might have one as one domain or there could be a possibility it might have more than one domain so what you have to do just go and type the name of the domain and click on this plus, plus button and if you have more than one then add the another domain also click next then still I told you we have two options you can use the MX record associated with your partner domains so it will go by the MX record or you can route through the smart host right so we still have two options if you select this option then it will ask you from where you want to route it do you have any smart host configured between them right or you want to use a mix record right so let's suppose uh, I don't remember the name so what I'm going to use is just specify the name of the the tenant here and click next now it will ask me right so uh, I always it asks you to use the TLS transport layer security to make the connectivity between this tenant and that tenant and now it will also have issued by a trusted certificate authority so you need to have a send certificate in my case my both tenants are Microsoft only so I don't need to choose this options but in your case you have to select this option and you have to specify the, the name of the domain and you need to have the certificate available for them so uh, I'm not selecting it click next now it will ask you a valid user ID for that tenant so let me go back to my previous tenant let me go back to the users and I, I'll find it out one user and then uh, let's suppose if I'm looking for this particular user to whom I want to send the email why I'm selecting this user only because I already logged in with this user in the outlook let me show you the outlook before we are adding we don't see any email here right there's no mail coming right so but let me go back specify this particular user thus add it and now it will ask you the configuration that you have done in this tenant for sending the email is is working or not working right so you just click on this validate so this validate basically generate one email and try to check the connectivity from this tenant to the another tenant which I try to configure here if there isn't any issues any error will able to see during the validation itself and if it is successful the user which I specify here will receive the email from this connector itself which can give a validation the connector is working properly right so let's wait the validations to be complete generally this validation will complete within uh, 60 seconds uh, now you can see it here so the connectivity is done there is no issues how it will validate the connectivity you can see it it try to resolve this domain it was okay it checked the connectivity to office 365 it was okay send the request it was okay right TLS it was okay right so that means it is good right same way it sent a test email to the users and the test email gone properly because this account is exist and the mail was generated so you will able to see this email on the user side so now click next right and then now you can click on this create connector once you done it it is done you close it and it will show you so now this tenant which is my uh, M365X tenant able to send the email to WWLX tenant. Now, if I want to receive the email from that right tenant to here, I need to create a receive connector as well. So, uh, click on this connector, right? And now there's an option 
from whom you want to receive the email I want to receive from my partner organization by default it automatically select your office 365 because you are creating a receive connector right you want to receive the email from partner organizations to yourself so you click here again you can specify the name of that particular connector right receive connector click So click next now again it will ask you uh, specify verify the sender domain match one of the following domain name you have to specify the name of the domain from where you want to receive the email right so this is my domain which I want to receive the email if you have more than one you just specify and try to add it there's an option also specify the IP address but we are using office 365 so domain name is a better option for us click next now it will ask you again reject the email if they aren't sent over the TLS right so I, I want a security to be there right and if there is a send certificate right for that partner organizations will able to do it right. so but I'm using Microsoft so I don't need a send certificate for it click next and create a connector so now I have created both of the connector send the email and to receive the email and in this connector this send connector I'm sending it from Microsoft to partner organizations and in receive connector I am getting email to Microsoft 365 from the partner organizations this is the way how we'll able to create the connectors now let's go back to the users and validate if the users receive an email post validation of that particular connector or not just need to wait need to validate it there's no email I should get an email let me check this send connector there's an option called validate so once I do it I'll, I'll get a revalidation also so it will generate an email and try to send on this particular uh, wwlx497386 dot on dot com domain and that is our domain here right 497386 on Microsoft dot com so let's wait the validation to be finished Validation is still under progress. Just wait for another 30 seconds. It will finish. Now you can see it here, right? So finally, you see, you got an email. This is a test email was sent from Office 365 organization M365X31356668 dot on Microsoft dot com to check the email can be delivered from organizations to your we don't need to reply on this it's a, a test email right so uh, I hope uh, guys you will like this video and thank you for watching it please like and subscribe my channel